I have been involved in HTA on multi multiple levels. First of all, I'm acting as a patient advocate both on the European and the country level. And some years ago, when the discussion started about patient involvement in HTA, I tried to engage on the European level to make sure that there's a European framework uh, that stakeholders like patients can actually contribute to the process. In terms of uh, my involvement as a patient advocate on the national level, I have contributed by taking part in uh, appraisals in a sense that I was providing statements on, on a specific drug uh, that was up for assessment in Germany. The impact of participation in HTA in Germany is uh, pretty much unknown at the moment because it's a pretty new process. We haven't had the new medicines law which actually requires value assessments only for a quite short period of time. Um, I myself have been involved in two appraisals uh, where I was writing statements on behalf of my organization on our perspective on the value assessment uh, of these two drugs. So the first thing I did uh, was when I was the chief executive of the Parkinson's Disease Association in the United Kingdom, I went to meet Sir Michael Rawlins. I wanted to understand from him what exactly was involved so that I may see him as not a barrier but part of the journey of trying to get uh, the patient voice involved with, with this uh, new regulatory procedure. The National Centre for Pharmaeconomics in Ireland perform most of the HTAs and assessments on drugs and on pharmaceutical products. Um, and in the last year, they've started to reach out to IPOSI in particular to link them in with patient representatives in cases where pharmaceutical products are not reaching, the, the, they're not passing, and where they need further you know, information from the patient groups. We'd like to take that a step further in Ireland and make it a process whereby, as a matter of form, when a HD is being, being performed by the NCPE, the patient involvement is, is there from the beginning. And that's a challenge, and that's new, but it's a challenge right across the board. This is something that's, you know, patient groups all across Ireland, Europe, uh, the world are trying to get involved in and there's a group called HTAI um, which is the Health Technology Assessment International that have a particular unit that looks at patient involvement in HTAs and we've been doing some work with that group to look at other countries in the world and what they do in terms of bringing patients into, into the mix um, and I suppose the big thing you know within the states and, and the change there's a change happening in terms of where patients get involved in medicines development it's not just within HTAs or even protocol stage of clinical trials. The FDA are actually reaching out to patient organisations and asking them to think about patient outcomes before the process even begins, before medicines development even begins. And I think for that to happen in Europe and across the US, we're going to need to train patient representatives on what that actually means. Um, and I think there's a lot of people out there that are ready for that and there's a lot of people out there that need to learn and that's where UPATI will really come in.